Jet Reaction contacted Professor Rakesh Mishra, who is a well-renowned CFD specialist at the University of Huddersfield, to carry out aerodynamic analysis on the spike model over here. Uh, the CAD files were provided by Mr. Richard Brown of Jet Reaction. Uh, there were many complexities related in this uh, related to this project. Uh, the first challenge that uh, we faced was the cleaning of the geometry because the files had uh, the, the CAD files had got many small edges which needs to be cleaned up. We see we performed a series of operations on this commercial CAD CFT package. Okay, and uh, after that we moved on to meshing of the CAD model. If you can see over here. We use a hybrid mesh uh, for to obtain an optimal mesh for accurate results. Okay, you can see we have divided the flow domain into two parts: one near the bike model and the other far away from the bike model. In this way, we can control the number of elements and hence optimize the mesh. Uh, after meshing the flow domain, we moved on to our solver, and uh, for the first runs, uh, we used incompressible flow of air to model the aerodynamic behavior around the bike model. Okay, as you can see, we, we obtained some results. But in real case, uh, the bike would be going at around 425 miles per hour, which is around Mach number 0 0.5. And at such high speeds, the compressibility effects are no longer negligible. So we had to do some compressible analysis as well. For compressible analysis, the challenges are even more uh, stringent. Uh, we had to remesh the our whole flow domain in order to uh, accurately predict the aerodynamic behavior forces on the bike model. Okay, and we used a density-based solver to obtain the results. Once we got both the results for incompressible and compressible, we wrote a technical report and sent it to. Mr. Richard Brown of Jet Reaction, and uh, he had done some experimental work uh, on the wind tunnel tests. Uh, he had got some data, so he compared the results that we sent them using CFT, and he matched it with their experimental results, and the results quite uh, matched quite well. And uh, we were very pleased to hear that when they informed us that the results are quite good, and hence the the project was quite. Uh, uh, helpful for the understanding of the flow phenomena around this bike model. And I would like to thank Professor Rakesh Mishra, who is my supervisor, and uh, he's an expert in CFD and fluid dynamics, and he helped me uh, quite a lot in understanding of the compressible flow phenomena and the CFD modeling of such flows. I would also like to thank Mr. Richard Brown from uh, Jet Reaction to help me in this project. The University of Huddersfield, inspiring tomorrow's professionals.